One of the things that Maulana Karinga, the founder of Kwanzaa, taught us, he said, um, if you want to live for eternity, you have to build for eternity. And we're, that's what we're doing and rebuilding and reconnecting with our culture and our people. Kwanzaa is a way of knowing. Again, a way of knowing about myself. When you hear, like, even like the Lion King, and you don't understand, and you don't know why, because it's just that, that, that a gun -gun, it's that spirit. A gun -gun is like that ancestral spirit that connects us to who we are. And you hear it, and it, it gives you this elation and this feeling about power and strength and empowering yourselves as African people. <laughs> My name is Barbia Williams, and I'm the artistic director and co-founder of the Barbia Williams Performing Company. I started celebrating Kwanzaa in 1967. This was the year after Kwanzaa had been initiated. We were definitely on the south side of Chicago, and which is just so rich in activism, in culture, and people, and leaders. We arrived in Tucson, June the 12th, 1972. We, it was pretty much a culture shock for us. There was um, no, no really talk or concept of Kwanzaa. So as a family, we started celebrating it here. We just continued our celebration. And um, we just started pulling in families and people that were interested, again, in beginning to know about who we are as people of African descent. My name is Roland Denson. Frida is my wife. Angela is my daughter. Our daughter took dance with Barbia, and we just became uh, enamored with her contributions to the community. And so we began to kind of follow uh, Barbia and and her family, and we, that's how we learned about Kwanzaa. My name is Bia Williams, and Barbia Williams is my mother. I have been celebrating Kwanzaa all my life. I didn't uh, understand Kwanzaa until I got into my 20s when I found the value um, behind why, you know, we were brought up celebrating Kwanzaa and the value of um, passing that on to my son as well. I feel like I have devoted my life to that, um, that calling that sense of being chosen because we didn't know. We had that disconnect. Nundiana. Every year that we've celebrated, it's been a learning experience. Um, and um, I, I love the way that we share the principles and the ideas. I just really like that everybody's involved and everybody plays a part. Each family member typically gets a principal, and they're in charge of that day. So they do the presentation. There's usually some sort of activity or game to get everybody involved, as well as they're in charge of choosing the meal for that day. So it's probably the only time of year that we see each other every day for seven days. So it's kind of nice. Kwanzaa, let's go back, is an African-American celebration. So it's a non-religious holiday that was started in 1966 by Mulana Karinga from the US organization. He saw what was going on with the Watts riots and how it was tearing our communities apart. He developed this seven-day principles with symbolizing of the seven days, which have a significance to how we rebuild our communities, our black communities. The English names of the seven principles are unity, self-determination, collective work and responsibility, cooperative economics, purpose, creativity, and faith.
My name is Tyrick Rasul, and I'm the inventor of the Sunghai drums. I decided to start playing African drums about 34 years ago when I met Miss Barbia Wilms and her performing company. And she had access to African drummers. And you can't talk about Mother Africa unless you talk about the traditional drum because the drum is the heartbeat of the civilization. I mean, that's what it does. It helps to, to celebrate Kwanzaa. The dance and the drum, the ngoma, which they say they connect, there's no separation. The dance and the drum, they work together, right? Well, one of the principles is creativity. We have created a way to reconnect our, our culture.